What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be playing a game with the new Pink Diamond Larry Bird. So the team we are running with is Oscar Robertson at the one, Devin Booker at the two, Larry Bird at the three, Giannis at the four, and Christian Leitner at the five. The bench, we've got Pete Maravich at the one, Melo at the two, LeBron at the three, Kuzma at the four, and Sabonis at the five. If you guys um, want me to run a lineup, assuming, I assume this is Hall of Fame Limitless, yeah. If you guys want me to run an all Hall of Fame Limitless range lineup for a gameplay tomorrow, because obviously tomorrow is Saturday, weekends, there's not much content, then leave it in the comments because I might go and do that. I might do a gameplay with um, our all Hall of Fame Limitless squad, because there are quite a lot of decently, well, players with decent height that have the badge, like Pete Maravich has the badge, Melo's 6'8", and he has the badge. So it's a lot more taller players than previously, but uh, that's kind of a little bit off point. But um, yeah, so the team running is Oscar Robinson 1, Booker at the 2, Bird at the 3, Giannis the 4, and Leitner at the 5. The bench, we have got Pete Maravich at the 1, Melo at the 2, LeBron at the 3, Kuzma at the 4, and Sabonis at the 5, with Dominique, Paul George, and Anthony Davis rounding off the bench. So uh, hopefully I do all right in this game. I have not played this game in a couple of days. Like, I genuinely don't think I have played... 2k since well 2k on this account since the booker gameplay which was either month which is monday i think to be completely honest but um yeah so anyway now let's go to the stats for larry larry comes with 12 hall of fame badges defense stopper corner specials mid-range jedi flashy passer deep range jedi limitless range relentless finisher difficult shots pick and popper acrobat catch and shoot and tireless score as well as 13 gold badges including gold diamond which is good to have He's got 94 uh, driving layup, 94 standing, 96 post fadeaway, 90 post hook, then 97 open shot mid, 97 open shot three. Got driving dunk of 80, box drop 86, so we can speed boost, great passing stats, 85 block, 95 steal, 95 shot contest, great rebounding stats, good speed, speed ball and acceleration, especially for a 6'9 small forward who can play at the four. He will be, a, to be fair, he may be one of the best stretch fours in the game, best fours in general in the game. I might actually play him there instead, but after looking at these stats. He's got great low post and on ball defensive IQ, yeah, I'm running Larry at the four. No point playing him at the three. And let's start Paul George at the three instead. So, um, yeah, this is the team we're running. Now let's go to the hot zones for Larry Bird. Then we are going to get on to the game. So Larry Bird has hot zones, as expected, absolutely everywhere on the floor. His release, thank God they fixed it from what it used to be in like 2K. From 2K, say, I know it was good in 2K15. That pink time Larry Bird was super OP. From like 2K16 and 2K17, Larry's release was broken. And then about halfway through 2K17, they fixed it. This release, yeah, it feels the same as the Ruby. I have not, well, I barely used the diamond. I have the diamond, but barely used them. But Larry's release is so nice. That Ruby Larry Bird was so, so good. And I think this Larry Bird could be even better. Like, obviously, he will be even better. But uh, kind of like in comparison. Like back then, rubies were the best cards in the game, and there wasn't a load of pink diamonds running around. Now, obviously, there is a load of pink diamonds, so rubies back then probably would feel almost like pink diamonds now. Larry's also got a really nice post hook and post fadeaway. We'll look at that a little bit. Release is quite nice. Mostly, he's just going to be a pick and pop jump shooter who should be able to shoot from absolutely everywhere. So now let's just green one three, and if he hits that one, now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against Lonzo, Kevin Herter, Kawhi, Tim Duncan, and John Collins? What? What's this guy doing? Like, I know he's overall cheesing, but like, really? Okay, we got him. There we go. Tough shot by Larry, and he knocks it down. It's a big shot right there. It's a bad shot. Good board, Paul George. Let's go. Larry out running. They leave Paul George wide open for three. Or lighting contested. They leave Larry wide open. Misses? That's a surprise. Steal. Get to Larry from near half court. And Larry Bird knocks it down. What a shot right there. Literally from near half court. That's contested. And not a great release. It doesn't matter. Larry hits it. Like. And this is a serious shooting card. I've gotten his release bad almost every time, and he's hit two crazy three-point shots and a mad fadeaway, even though I'm releasing early every time. He's eight points already, and we've got an eight-nil eight lead. Or we've got a couple of dunks. We maybe are able to burn him with Larry, but we got him. To the basket, Larry Bird lays it in over Alonzo, even with the heavy, cont the heavy contest. Okay, he's got Rafe LaFrance in the game. He's also got a really nice card in the game in... What's his name? And Rex Chapman. 
But he does have a complete non-shooter at point guard. So we do have the advantage there. Bang. We've got LaFrance versus slightly better LaFrance in Sabonis. You can see LaFrance and Sabonis are so similar. Sabonis is obviously better Hall of Fame badges. He's taller, faster. They shoot very, very similar. Like Sabonis is just better LaFrance. Like if you're, basically if you guys can't afford Sabonis, which is an awful lot of people, if you can't afford to use Sabonis on your team, just buy a Rafe LaFrance. It's like, it's worse, yes, but not that much worse. Like LaFrance is worse than Sabonis, but not enough worse that it's worth 350k difference. And they play a very, like you, most of the time you'll use them in a very, very similar way. And LaFrance is still a beast. This guy's giving me work with some of the, my favorite budget players in the game. I hate when this happens. I hate when someone comes out against me with like, and like fair enough, like Rex Chapman, their budget cards everyone knows about. When someone comes out against me using like a Kevin Knox card, like, <laughs> or Kevin Herder, cards like that, and just start hitting shots with them. Oh, that's, they just annoy me. Or when I come up against somebody and it's literally a budget squad that I'd made the day before. That happens a lot. Got him. Fade away, Pete Maravich, he got hit that shot. That was a bad miss. Melo for three, and he missed as well. That was quite a bad release. All right, so Larry has like 10 of our 18 points, and he was shooting a lot better in our bench wear anyway. And we pulled every release with Larry early so far. So obviously we are, we've are we got to start releasing the ball a little bit later. Bang, green light from the logo. Let's go, Larry Bird. Oh, he burned some up. <laughs> they jumped way too early on that one and Larry with the dunk. Oh, crosses him up. Larry Bird to the basket and he gets the dunk. Fade away, three from deep is off. Oh, uh, he's... To be fair, I am shooting a lot of bad shots with him. He's not hitting that many from deep. I know he greened one of them, but his deep three ball is not what I'd hoped it was. Like, it doesn't feel like Jimmer. And I know J like Jimmer is gonna be like, my starting point when I'm talking about Hall of Fame Limitless. Because Jimmer range is a real thing. Oh, what a pass to Larry Bird. How he got a score out of that, I don't know, but he did. Larry's had an okay game so far. Like, I'm not gonna say he's done well, because he hasn't. He's done some great things in the game, but I probably haven't, haven't going to show a lot of the like bad misses and just kind of bad plays he's had. That's a good shot right there. There we go. So now he's got takeover. We got some fade away, green light. Let's go, Larry. Hey, he does have the most OP takeover in the game, in my opinion. Like I know, obviously, slasher OP or slasher takeover is OP. I just think this take specific takeover is OP for the reason that threes are greater than twos, and this is all makes it that you're pretty much almost guaranteed a three pointer if they try to play on ball in every possession. Like everything's green. Everything's green with this takeover. Fade away, green light. He's now green three, three three-pointers in a row. And Larry now has got 31 points in the first half. Got him. Fade away, Larry Bird, knocks it down. There is no stopping him right now. Oh, we got him wide open. Pete Maravich for three, knocks it down. Okay, three ball. LeBron James, knocks it down. All right, we've got a 19 point lead. Pretty sure this is the game. From deep, LeBron James knocks down the three-pointer. Let's go. I know he only has goal limitless range, but a lot of time it does feel like it's Hall of Fame with LeBron. Can he hit that one? That's a tough shot, and Larry knocks it down. It was like as soon as like he missed a, for a couple to start the game, and as soon as he got that takeover, it's he literally took over the game. To the basket, Larry Bird. Oh, nearly an one. That would have been nice. Free throw, 96 rating, not the worst release. It's quite good. Here we go. We got him. Fade away. Larry Bird hits it off the board. Steal. Hey, Larry. They're not near him. Well, they're not very close to him at all. Hits the three. There we go. Green light in the fadeaway. Bird now with 46 points. Shooting really well from two. Not shooting best percentage from three. Like, under 50%. Which, to be fair, isn't bad at all. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm complaining about him only shooting around 50% from three. Okay. No hand up there. And we green it with Larry Bird. 
No hand up at all there. Larry Bird knocks down a deep three. Let's go. He hasn't did too many like near half court shots yet. And that was like, especially, I know I keep going back to him, but Booker wasn't the best for that, but Jimmer was literally pulling from like here and greeny shots with people's hand in their face. Larry from deep to end the game. Knocks it down, let's go. All right, 57 points. Wasn't that far off 60. So close, yes, so far. But uh, yeah, we win that game in the end by 33 points as well. So in the end, Larry Bird, 20 of 39 from the field, 13 of 29 from three. So he was seven of 10 from inside three, which is good. 57 points plus 13 from the field. He also came up with two big blocks there. So anyway, that's the video. Larry Bird, a really, really nice card. Like, he doesn't feel like he's got the range. Again, I think I may have said this about 10 times in the video. He does not have Jimmer range, but his Hall of Fame list does feel like he's just a better Devin Booker, maybe. Their small forward position, Honestly, I think I prefer to use uh, someone like a Scotty or a LeBron over him with Gold Limitless, but um, it's still a brilliant card. A brilliant, brilliant card. I don't know what price he is on console, but if on, if MT is unlimited, he could be one of the best stretch fours in the game. Can attack the basket, can block shots, get boards, and also a really nice shooter. So anyway, yep, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.